Coronary artery bypass grafting is the most common cardiac surgical procedure in the United States. Patients who undergo cardiac surgery are at risk for a spectrum of hospital-acquired infections, including pneumonia, which is the most common type of infection in this setting. Patients who develop pneumonia are at risk for a number of other sequelae, including further morbidity and mortality and resource utilization. We evaluated the experience of just over 16,000 patients undergoing Cabot surgery through the Michigan Society of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeons Quality Collaborative, which is supported in part by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. We identified 17 preoperative factors associated with the development of pneumonia. These included demographic characteristics, comorbid conditions, their laboratory values, their cardiac as well as pulmonary function, and their preoperative status. Many of these factors are potentially modifiable, and unfortunately some may not be, including a patient's emergent status at the time of the operation. We feel that the findings from our study may actually serve as a foundation for patient-physician clinical decision-making prior to surgery. Some of the factors, as I had said, may not be modifiable, including a patient presenting for cardiac surgery in an emergent fashion. Others are potentially modifiable, including a patient's current smoking status, which we identified to increase a patient's risk just over twofold relative to patients who were not smoking at the time of their operation. These factors, if identified early enough in the patient's time course, may offer opportunities to actually mitigate their risk of developing pneumonia. A number of studies have found benefit both in terms of patient's understanding of the risk as well as identifying opportunities to change a patient's trajectory for post-operative morbidity after cardiac surgery. We feel that cardiac surgeons, as, long as, as well as with their patients, may take this information, improve their understanding of choices that may be made prior to surgery or potentially at the time of their operation to reduce a patient's risk of developing post-operative outcomes in this setting, pneumonia. This quality improvement initiative, supported in part by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, focused predominantly on identifying preoperative factors associated with pneumonia. We're currently embarking on a study focusing now on the intraoperative phase, those things that may be modified by the surgeon at the time of the operation that may ultimately lead to a reduction in the risk of developing pneumonia for a patient.